Hello, this is a tutorial for Vireo for SketchUp 8. I have here five uh, glasses. I've made a render of them. As you see, there's one uh, that looks like uh, brushed steel or stainless steel. The ground is pretty mm, reflective. The glass is refractive. I'm gonna show you how to make this material. First, let's bring a cylinder here, bring it to life. Sorry. Now it's all about the material. Open the material editor. Load material. Ah, uh, sorry. Your default material. In this default material, we're gonna focus on the reflection layer. Select the map of the reflection. Make it Fresnel. Now, all the IORs have to be 20. 20 here and 20 there. This parallel will be 10. I don't know why. Perpendicular map will be an image, a bitmap. Here's where you browse your image. If you have one of these brushed metal textures or you can download them from, from Google Images. I'll select the second one. And OK. And OK. Now, you'll have to reduce the glossiness to 0.95. This is 95 in another language. Anyways, it's 0.95. Now, these are locked until you reduce it. So, 0.95 is just okay. Anisotropy will be have to be negative 0.9, which means negative almost one. Negative 0.9. Enter. The subdivs here will be 20 22 Should you type from blend to ward now the color I have to make it black and this reflection thingy I have to make it also dark so you can see the actual texture of the stainless steel and preview okay if you have this result it won't be rendered nicely to look real ugly trust me so you have to reduce this but never make it touch the ground like more than 10 okay maybe less than 10 8 this is 8 okay and preview. It will probably mo look most likely the same, so we're gonna ease up on it. And here, we're gonna take revenge by putting an image bitmap select. And if you don't mind, you have to put the same as last time. Okay. Okay, and this, sorry, has to be white. I might want to reduce this, look nicer. This is point eighty five. And um, hit preview. Okay, what we have now is 
an, an attractive preview. This looks like the original one that I did earlier. So, I want to add a little kick to it. A bump. Map. Map. Bitmap. Okay. Select the same as last time. Okay. Remember, this is brushed stainless steel, so it has to be very smooth, not real bumpy, so it has to be less than half, maybe like 0 0.1. Okay, I believe it'll be just as good. Uh, actually, I want to bump. Okay. I'm gonna apply the material to this cylinder. Looks good so far. Okay, mm -hmm. you go away. I will wait the one background, so I'll take a look. This is good. And hit render. Sorry, this render not show it. The tree is looks really does really looks like a bird. Server. This one is really the 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 one here. Just wait. Here we go. For more of the texture. The other. So we have to repeat this texture. One in front. Never mind. So we made this face here. Paint this one. these people they won't bother me okay right click on the texture you, you will see this texture thingy position okay the red ball is on left corner this will scale the texture make it smaller 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 be careful we rotate it okay right click and and done Okay, right click again, texture projected. So, what you see here, will be re repeated there. Now, hold the Alt key and you will have this pick color tool. Okay, sorry. Pick the tool, pick the color, and place it on the square, the cylinder. Delete the rectangle so you can look through it and hit render. This is the
the final result. I hope you like it. See you next time.